All right, so here we go with the Zero Box Biome Project. Um, this is the rubric. You'll find this in Classroom. We're going to go over the top part. This bottom part, I'm going to leave up to you, but I would encourage you to every day go through and just skim through this, especially the parts that you're working on that day or the parts you worked on the, next, the day before, because this is how you're being graded. Um, I do want to point out this section right here. This section all adds up to 55 points, um, but you can see each section how much it's worth. I also want to point out that it's out of 200 points. So when something says it's 10 points, that's 10 out of 200, which is 5 out of 100. So when it says 10 points on here, it's 5% of your grade. When it says 6 points on here, it's 3% of your grade. When it says 30 points, it's 15% of your grade. It's half of the percentage. Um, the percentage is half of how many points it is. All right, so let's look. Task. You will create a biome-based product with your empty cereal box. Below is the list of criteria for each side of your box. You can see that your entire box has this, front, back, and then the sides are down below. I encourage you to make all the words facing the same way so that it can be read without turning the box sideways. If you think about how a cereal box is set up, cereal boxes, you don't have to turn them. You can twist them or rotate them, but you normally don't have to turn them different directions to read them. Um, completing this worksheet, and there's a link there, you will gather, um, will help you gather much of the data that you need. And you have this in your Google Classroom as well. It is actually this document right here. Um, by the way, if you haven't, uh, you need to change that date to the 21st. This is due on Thursday. I, I put the due date for the whole project there when this document is actually due on Thursday. Um, but we'll get to this in a minute. All right, on the, you need to cover the box with paper. That can be wrapping paper, butcher paper, um, construction paper, um, when it comes time for this, this will be in a, like probably Thursday or Friday. Uh, when it comes time for this, I can get you some butcher paper or I can send you to the library to get your own. Um, if you don't know how to wrap a box, you may want to figure that out. Talk to people who do. Give some candy to a friend that does, like barter or something. Uh, but your box needs to be covered. And if it's covered, if it looks all um, thrown together, your whole project's going to look thrown together because of it. So try to make it look really nice. Um, on the front. If you think about a cereal box, on the front, you don't have a ton of information about the cereal. You just kind of have, hey, this is what it is, and this is a, here's an idea of what's going on in this cereal box. And the same thing, that's what you're going to do for your biome. You're going to make a catchy title. Some examples are Polarized Pops. I think it's Sweet Brown when they say that. Um, you got Desert Delight. Uh, you can't use these two now, but you can come up with your own. You can use alliteration, a repetition of sounds. You can use um, something from that biome to explain, hey, I know what this biome is. Here's a, here's, here's what's in this box. Here's what's in this biome. And then you're gonna make a scene um, on the front of the box that relates to your biome. So if you think about like a picture of the desert with some plants and some animals in it, that's what you're making. You're making a scene. Um, you must include three animals and two plants that relate to your biome. The plants and animals need to be labeled so that I know what they are. You can use paint, drawings, clip art. You can cut out magazines. You can do all kinds of different things. Be creative. Be colorful. On the back. So that's on the front. Pretty simple on the front. On the back is where a lot of the work's coming in. So you have a top section that's going to be a food web and a bottom section that's going to have all of these things. So for the food web, you need, you've got, uh, it says create a food web for plants and animals in your biome. You've done this. You know how to do this. You've done this before. Remember that the sun is the source of energy. Food web has to include six organisms. You notice I did not, I was not specific about what each organism needs to be, but six organisms. Be certain that your arrows are pointing in the right direction. Arrows show energy flow. Yes, show it down here. Um, it does need to be labeled with your organism's name. So, you know, uh, horned lizard and the energy roll will be like herbivore, which lizard's not herbivore, but you get the, you get the point. It'd be like ladybug and um, carnivore and all of, all four organisms. Um, they must be specific to your biome. You can draw pictures, cut out pictures. A lot of you like drawing, and I'm not opposed to you drawing, but I would be careful on drawing everything because it's going to take you a lot of time. There are pictures out there that you can print out in color to the library, and we'll talk about that Thursday or Friday um, when you get there. Um, so, yeah. All right, that's the top part. Top part's relatively simple you've done that the bottom part is where we're going to be a lot of the leg work for the back so the bottom part of your box includes different aspects um, should include different aspects of your biome that deals with the interactions among living things so you've got things that you've done before like producers consumers um, it tells you one carnivore and herbivore and omnivore 
and then it says carnivore omnivore here's the list and then you got to decomposure and then here's some differences from what we haven't we haven't done these before we've talked about them but we have not done them in a project uh, give one example of predator prey that should be pretty simple predator prey relationship one example of competition should be pretty simple uh, and one example of symbiosis tell me which type mutualism commensalism parasitism and include a picture list two abiotic factors from your biome like this should be stuff that's pretty simple to you you could probably come up with a lot of it in your head for some of these um and you have a week to do this actually you have i guess two days to do this because it's due it's due down here this remember getting it together getting the list of it is due down here on thursday and then you'll spend the rest of the time um, putting it together printing it out cutting it out wrapping your box all the other stuff most of the actual academic work should be done in about two days by Thursday. We'll work on it today. We'll work on it tomorrow. It'll be due Thursday. So that's the back. That's a good bit, good, good part of it. And it says all this information needs to be typed. So you can draw the stuff, but your labels need to be typed. All right. So there's that's the back. If you scroll down to the different two different sides, side one is biome facts. One side of your box should include 10 facts about your biomes. Do not plagiarize. Don't go online and look for facts about the tundra and just copy and paste them over. That is plagiarism. It's going to be obvious for most of you and is a solid point that you are going to get a good bit of points taken off, if not get a zero completely for a test grade um, and possibly a step, um, depending on how severe it is. But yes, yeah, so read what you can do, and it's okay is if you read what you're doing, like read through a, 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 you know, an article or something like that about the Tundra, and then go over to your document, not typing exactly what you saw, but then type, hey, these are the things, here are you know, uh, polar bears, blah, 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 and type that out in your own words for something that you read, and then cite that source. So when you're working on this document over here, look right here, when you're writing, if you write polar bears are white, and that's what you, that was your fact, which is a horrible fact, that's not a very good fact at all. Um, then link to it. Copy. I'm going to right click and link to that. Whatever the websites you saw that polar bears are white, wherever you learned that from, write it. It's a horrible fact, not because it's wrong, but because it's just a, not a, I mean, duh. Um, all right, let's see. You keep going. So those bottom facts, they must be typed. You can get these things from CK12. You can get them from your textbook. You can get them from other sources, but cite your source. I'm not talking about it has to be an MLA or uh, APA or whatever source, uh, MLA, I think, source I'll use. It doesn't have to be in that citation. I just mean link to it. Give a website that you can I can click on and see where you got it from. Um, this also has to be, um, they also has to be typed. Um, and then side two. Side two is endangered species. Um, facts must, uh, I'm sorry, list one endangered species, give a brief description of the species, and include the, a picture of the species. The description must be typed. So if you look at endangered species, scroll down here, it says extra credit. This is extra credit that the endangered species is not required. It is extra credit. So I would hold off until the end to do this because you don't get points taken off for doing this. You just don't get the extra points. Um, so one of your sides is extra credit. The endangered species is extra credit. You may want to write that on your paper rubric to remind yourself of that. And then on the bottom, you um, actually get points for this, I believe. On the bottom, you need to have um, name, a biome assigned, class period, and then the due date. And then on the top, you can put anything you want to. I would like for you to put something up there. It can be just the title of your cereal box if you want to, or your biome cereal. Um, but put something up there. Be creative. This, again, is one of the least important things. The majority of your work is going to be done doing the 10 facts, the back, and the front. So three of the six sides of your project is the vast majority of your assignment. Um, and then I want, again, I'd scan through these and see what is for, um, what you can have points taken off for and what you can't presentation. You notice there's 10 points, 5% of your grade is based on that. So right now I want you to work on this. Your grade, um, is going to be based on, um, most of this information is going to help your grade or hurt your grade, I guess. Um, so you need to get your 10 facts Endangered species is endangered species required. No, it's extra credit. Food web can go here. You can paste a picture of your food web if you'd like to from Google Slides. And then all the other details, rainfall, temperature, abiotic factors, biotic um, interactions, stuff like that's right there. So this is your homework. This is due on Thursday.